What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna give you guys all the information you need to bulk the right way. I'm personally guilty of it and I've seen it a hundred times before. A lot of times when people start to bulk, they wanna put on muscle. Instead of actually following a program or set rules, they end up just eating whatever they can wrap their mouth around and they end up gaining a ton of weight. I mean, with that, you're gonna get a little bit stronger, but you end up putting on a lot of unnecessary fat. If you've been following this channel, you've been eating the anabolic diet, you've actually leaned out and you're proud, you're happy with where your body's at, last thing you want to do is pile on a ton of fat to where you have to do the entire cutting process again. I've been there before and let me tell you, it's something you want to avoid at all costs if you can. So with this video, I'm going to give you guys the full breakdown of what you need to be doing. I'm going to go through step by step. Literally, I'm going to give you all of the information available that way. After you watch this video, you should never have to watch another one. You should have literally everything figured out. So without further ado, let's get this video going. If y'all are ready to get an epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah. So the first thing you wanna do when you're trying to embark on a nice, lean, and clean bulk is to figure out exactly what your numbers should be. We're all a little bit different. My diet isn't exactly gonna work for you. Your training split might be different than me. You might actually be a female watching this, which is gonna change things a little bit. Basically, we are all different. So this is an individual thing, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you how each of us are gonna get our numbers. So the first thing we wanna do is grab our phone. So I'm actually gonna put a side-by-side -side up on the screen right now. That way you can see exactly what I see on my phone right here. So the first thing we wanna do is pull up a website called tdeecalculator.net. Once you get to that site, you're gonna see there's slots in here to put in some information. You got your gender, age, weight, height, activity levels, ETC. This is gonna allow us to get the numbers we want to build an effective plan. So what I'm actually gonna do is create a hypothetical person that we're gonna break down the numbers for. So starting off here, gender, male, age, 30 years old, weight is 180 pounds, height is gonna be five foot 10. And then before I choose the activity levels, I wanna take a second and explain this to you guys. So when you're choosing these right here, you'll see we have the options between light exercise, moderate, heavy, athlete, we have sedentary. And with this, I would not take it literally unless you are doing cardio in your routine on every single day that you're training. So for a hypothetical athlete right here, let's say he trains five days a week, but he does zero cardio. For him, I'm actually gonna put light exercise here, which is only a day or two of training. If I put moderate and he's doing no cardio, it's gonna overestimate the amount of calories he is actually burning. So for him, I'm gonna choose light exercise just to be on the safe side. So keep that in mind. If you're going to the gym and you're not doing any cardio and you're literally just weight training, you're burning less calories than you think, and this is gonna overestimate it. So be honest, if you train five days a week, go with light exercise. If you're actually training five days a week and you're doing at least 20 minutes of cardio a day and you're doing it, you know, at a decent pace, then you can go ahead and bump that up a little bit. So we choose light and I'm gonna hit calculate. And then what we see here is that this individual's maintenance calories are at 2,451. And what that means is that this particular individual needs 2,451 calories every single day to stay the exact same weight. Or in other words, this is their total daily energy expenditure. If you've seen the word TDEE floating around, that's what this means. So essentially, if this person ate these calories every single day for a month straight, they're not gonna lose any weight and they're not gonna gain any weight, they're gonna stay in the exact same spot. And typically on this channel, we talk about cutting or losing body fat. So if you wanted to cut and you didn't necessarily wanna bulk, you would take this number right here and subtract around 500 calories from it. That would put this person at 1,951 calories. If they did that diet every single day, they would lose about a pound of fat a week. But this isn't about cutting, this is about bulking. So we're looking here at this number and we really have a few different options. I'm gonna tell you what I prefer, but we're gonna run through a few different scenarios. If you wanted to do the Greg Doucette approach of main gaining, where you wanted to build muscle while not really putting on any body fat, you would basically just eat right at this number, keep training how you've been training and slowly over time through your training stimulus, you're gonna build muscle and this is what they call main gaining. Then if you wanted to do, I would say probably the most popular form of bulking out there, you would add about 500 calories to this number, put you at 2,951 calories, the opposite of what we did for the cutting numbers, you would track those calories, eat those calories, keep training, and you're gonna gain about a pound of weight a week. Not all of that being muscle, some of that's definitely gonna be fat, but you're gonna gain about a pound a week. And then to keep things super lean, the way that I recommend is to take this number and only add about 100 calories to it. Give yourself a very minor surplus. This is going to ensure that you're in a surplus, but you're keeping things super tight. If you're already pretty lean and you wanna maintain that to the best of your ability, 
ability while still putting your best foot forward on getting results. You maybe wanna head to the pool in about six weeks, but you don't wanna worry about putting on too much of the necessary weight. I really think a 100 calorie surplus is the way to go, but really none of these are wrong answers. All of them can work, but it's really about what works best for you and what you are trying to accomplish. For me, 100 calories is the way to go. So now that we have the number of calories we're trying to eat, how do we set up our macros and our meal plan around that? Don't worry, I'm gonna give you all the info you need. I wasn't lying to you. So if you don't have this app, I recommend you download it. It is called the My Fitness Pal app. I'm gonna go in here on my phone and pull it up. And as you can see, what we're looking at here, we got a little food diary. You look at the top, there's a calorie goal, which none of this is accurate yet. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. But there's also a little food diary. You can see breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, yada, yada. If you've never used this before, it is stupid simple. I'm gonna show you that here in a second. So don't be discouraged. You're gonna learn today. So after eating this app, the first thing you wanna do is go over to the more section and go to my profile, go to edit profile. And here you can key in like your height, your weight, your sex, date of birth, all that stuff. But what we wanna do is go down to the bottom and hit goals. And you'll see here up at the top, it's got starting weight, current weight, goal weight, weekly goal, things like this. None of those really matter. I haven't updated those in a long time. But what does matter is here under nutrition goals, you got calorie, carbs, protein, and fat goals. So we're gonna click that and it's gonna take us here to this little percentage chart. Now here is how we're gonna do this. So we know right now that we wanna eat about 2,550 calories a day for this individual. So if this guy weighs 180 pounds, general rule of thumb is that he's gonna want at least 180 grams of protein a day. But I like to take that number up a little bit higher just to be safe. So for this guy, we're gonna go in here, we clicked on protein and we're gonna spin this wheel until we have 200 grams of protein. And you'll see at the bottom, it has an updated calorie goal. It says 2004. When we move these sliders, you're gonna see that number go up and down. All we really have to do is play with these numbers until we hit our calorie goal and we're in there. So I'll just move fat up to about 60. We'll just kind of crank carbs up until we get closer to our calorie goal. Boom, so there we go. It's 60 fat, 200 protein, and 303 grams of carbs. That puts us at 2,552 calories. That is right on the money of where we wanna be. So I hit the check mark and then bingo. Our app is now set up exactly how we want it. So if I go back to the diary, you'll see at the top that reflects it. We got 2,552 calorie goal with 2,552 calories remaining for the day. So now that the app is set up for this individual, how do we go about building a meal plan around these numbers? It's actually much easier than you think and I'm gonna show you. So with this app, we could go in to the breakfast option here. You could click add food, type in egg. You could look here, we could switch this to six eggs for breakfast, key that in, boom, that's 420 calories. You can click it, you can see that it was 30 grams of fat, 36 grams of protein, and you would just rinse repeat that throughout the course of the day until you hit your calorie number and your protein goal. But honestly, that's pretty boring. The reason most diets don't work is because people have a hard time sticking to them. You're eating bland, you're eating boring foods, you don't enjoy what you're doing, and this stuff you really want, like the pizzas, the desserts, things like that, don't have enough protein, so you're out of luck there. But ladies and gentlemen, we have a solution. You can always get the RJF cookbook, pull it up right on your phone, scroll down through, and look at all these amazing recipes you have the choice of adding right into your diet. We could have a French toast PB&J, we could have some Funfetti pancakes for breakfast, we can scroll down, you could do some mac and cheese, some spicy chicken nuggets, some Parmesan garlic boneless wings, then you can go down to dessert. We got chocolate chip cookies, a brownie sundae, a cheesecake. Really, the options are endless. And the best part is with every recipe, you can look right here, you got full step-by-step -step instructions, what you gotta weigh out, the exact ingredients, but also you know exactly what to key into the app. So for some birthday cake waffles, 217 calories, one gram of fat, 28 grams of protein, 24 grams of carbs. It really is stupid simple when you use this book. So if you don't got it, it is available at the first link in my description box. You get it one time. Anytime I add a new recipe to the channel, it gets added to the book for free, and it keeps on growing at no additional cost. So if you don't got it, check it out. For those of you that do have it, it's gonna make this next step a whole lot easier. So we'll just start with breakfast here, and we'll do it fresh. We'll make this diet actually enjoyable. So if I go in here, I'll search my foods, and for breakfast, we'll do a classic. We'll do anabolic French toast, except we'll do two servings of it, which is eight massive slices of French toast. Good bulking breakfast. Six fat, 76 protein, 96 carbs, Perfect. So we add that in. And let's say for meal two, we want the best tasting protein bar on the market, the Anna Bar, available at finalbossfulness.com. Code RGF10 will save you 10%. Go down here to snacks. We can actually pull up and scan the barcode like so, and bingo, it pops right up right here in the app. Boom, right? So I've showed you how to manually enter a food, and we've scanned a barcode. This app has a ton of features. It's really easy. Let's say for lunch, I don't know, what am I feeling here? Let's do something a little bigger, a little more filling, a little more fun, a little higher calorie. We are bulking, we'll do the anabolic cookbook, spicy queso burrito. This thing's incredible, man. So we'll add that in. And as of right now, we're at 1,678 calories. We've still got a little bit more to go. Let's throw a dessert in here. Let's do a unique one. We'll go with a slept on recipe that's incredible. Let's do the s'mores grilled cheese. It's like a grilled cheese sandwich, but it's got like s'mores inside of it. It's loaded down with protein. It's a banger. You need to try it. 
we add that in. Okay, we're at 2,154 calories right at the moment. If I go down here to nutrition, I can click this, and we're already at 211 grams of protein. So right now, it really doesn't matter what else we eat throughout the day. We've already hit our protein goal. As long as we have that calorie goal, we're gonna be in a good spot. That's the benefit of eating out of the cookbook. Everything has so much protein that you don't even really have to think about that step. You just hit your calories, eat out of the cookbook, you're gonna be fine. So let's just add in some other stuff to fill it up. Let's do an old favorite. Let's do Smart Pop popcorn. This is a big one. We'll do one of the large bags. Add that in, 23.94. So about 150 calories away. What can we fill that up with? Something easy that I'll do if I got like that many calories left and I just want something quick, we will just lean on good old fashioned peanut butter. So if I pull up peanut butter, I take the serving down to about three quarters, which will be 24 grams. Bingo, 150 calories. And after all of that is keyed in, we are at 2,544 calories. You can look at the top. It says we have eight calories remaining now. For me, this is good. This is totally fine. I usually give, uh, whether I'm cutting or I'm bulking, there's a plus or minus 50 calorie swing. If I can get within 50 calories, whether that's like 20 over, 32 under, as long as I'm within that, I'm totally fine. So eight calories here is really about as close as you're gonna get, unless you want like one more gram of peanut butter, you know? And if we go down to the nutrition, we can see we finished the day at 57 fat, 224 protein, 292 carb, 20 grams of fiber, 2,544 calories. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is a successful lean bulk day for our individual. If he does this every single day and he's consistent with it, he's slowly gonna start putting on that muscle while minimizing the fat gain. This right here is about as perfect as it gets. That's a solid eight slice French toast breakfast, an Anna bar is like a lunchtime snack, a spicy queso burrito for dinner, a s'mores grilled cheese for dessert, he gets a big thing of popcorn, and then a little spoon of peanut butter right before bed. Now keep in mind, you can take any of the recipes out of the cookbook, plug them in whichever way you wanna do it. You can organize this however, but you literally just do what I showed you right in this app. You calculate the numbers, you plug them in, you hit your minimum protein goal, you follow these instructions, you can't lose if you do that. Whether you're cutting or you're bulking, you do what I just showed you, this is the key to success right here. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It really is that easy. Once you get familiar with using the MyFitnessPal app and tracking things, getting your meals in order, like this whole process really isn't that hard, man. If you can learn how to use Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you can learn these other apps, then MyFitnessPal is going to be a walk in the park. And the best part is, all you get from those other apps is uh, depression, <laughs> makes you kind of hate yourself. But when you follow MyFitnessPal and you're hitting those goals, you're hitting those numbers, and you're seeing the results happen where you're slowly gaining muscle, you're slowly losing body fat, it gets addicting. There's actually like a real world benefit from using it, if that makes sense, man. I always say you never feel better when you know you're crushing your days and you're working towards your goal. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got value out of this or you learned something, smash that thumbs up button. If there's something you feel like I missed, let me know down below. Don't forget, my cookbook is available at the first link in my description box. You can make this whole dieting process while you're cutting or you're bulking. Really freaking simple. Don't sleep on that. For the best protein bar on the market, Anna bars are available. Finalbossfulness.com. Use that code RGF10. Get you a little discount. If what I just showed you was overwhelming and you want to have an entire plan just laid out for you, you want me to actually break it down, my website, RemyGJsFitness.com. You can sign up for a coaching plan. I'll do all that for you. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll teach every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Bam, 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 bam. We out of here, baby. Whew.